guys so I got this one at Kyla Bell's table this is a Annery Florida King Snake this one has a couple of heads uh, mosaic and lavender I believe beautiful beautiful snake as it matures the white will increase and the black will almost be like little speckling on the snake so it'll be like a white snake with black specklings a uh, really, really beautiful snake. Florida king snake. And that's a new project for us. This is a female. Um, so we're going to need a male for this one probably next year. Look at those eyes. Beautiful, beautiful snake. All right. I also got these two from Kyla Bell. This one is in Shed. And these are yellow line albino Nelson milk snakes. I'm gonna show you what those look like as adults. These aren't your typical albino Nelson milk snakes. Uh, the yellow line increases the yellow. So as an adult, the yellow expands. So it'll just be like a yellow and black snake. It's really, really beautiful. Really excited to be working with these. Yellow line albino Nelsons. And if you don't know Kyla Bell, she has a lot of great, great colubrids. And um, she had some of the nicest stuff at the show. And this is the male, but he's in shed. But I picked him out because you can tell he has like a bullseye pattern. And I'm gonna let him relax. He's got a shed. I picked up this buckskin okati from Craig Trumbauer. If you don't know who he is, he's been uh, doing this for over 30 years. He's one of the old time breeders. So I was really excited to actually get my first snake from, from him. I don't know if uh, you could see the coloring, but these change as adults. I'm gonna show you a picture of what they look like as adults. These are one of the sought after okatees. And this is my first one. And this is a male. I have a female coming in a couple of weeks from Don Sutterberg, so I'm gonna do an unboxing video on that. This is a white-sided king snake. And this one is Het Lavender and Mosaic. I also got this one from Kyla Bell. And this is a first for me. I don't have any white-sided king snakes, so I got my female first, and I'm gonna get a male next year. She's a little jumpy right now, out by the beach. And with the white sided, they call it white sided obviously because the sides are all white and the patterning is on the top. It like whites out the sides. They make beautiful adults. And this, this one is in shed. This is a male coral goes to Sarah or Tessera, however you like to say it. This has like a broken tessera pattern, so it's a little unique, so I picked this one up. I have a female at home, and I can tell this one's about to shed. This one's about to shed, so I'm gonna let it do its thing. And this one I got from uh, Travis Whistler. Also from Travis Whistler is this Snow Head Scaleless. Snow Head Scaleless. I have a scaleless female, uh, I mean a regular het scaleless female snow at home. So with these two, I'm working on a project to produce scaleless snows. 
scaleless snows are pretty pretty beautiful and um, it increases the pink pattern when they don't have the scale so um, actually it, it just it's just a visual thing but um, that's something that I'm gonna be doing in the future I also got this one from Travis Whistler so now I'm gonna get ready have some dinner and uh, tomorrow we're gonna be recording the whole event I appreciate all the support and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.